in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. 25 young couples pronounced their marriage vows in the presence of John Paul II in Anyayo Stadium, Nairobi, one Saturday afternoon in August. Karl Wojtyla wants to administer all the sacraments, including that of matrimony, and he has chosen to dedicate a large part of his pontificate to marriage and the family. The Pope's strong commitment to the renewal of marriage in the family springs from a deep conviction that the world will be renewed through the family. As he writes in the apostolic exhortation, Familiaris Consortio, the future of humanity lies in the hands of the family. On December 22, 1980, in a speech to cardinals, John Paul said, we need to loudly proclaim the value of the family, the holiness of matrimony, the goodness of human life. I will never tire of performing what I consider to be an urgent mission, taking advantage of trips, meetings, audiences, messages to the people, institutions, associations, or consultants who are concerned about the future of the family and study it and act for it. The Pope, with the Church, knows that man's greatest wealth is the family. He says over and over again to the cardinals, man, over and above even the most sublime intellectual or social activity, finds his full development, his integral realization, his irreplaceable wealth in the family. Here, truly, more than in any other area,